Video Studio Ultimate 2021 just released. I'm using Video Studio Ultimate 2018 right now. Let's see if it's worth the upgrade. So what are we working with? Let's get a base level here. This video is just gonna go through me rendering a basic video and comparing it to rendering the same exact video on the different versions. So what am I working with here? I got uh, Windows 10 Intel i7 with 32 gigs of RAM and the uh, graphics card I have is a GeForce RTX 2060. So one of the interesting things about um, 2021 that I saw when, of course, when you, if you have Video Studio Ultimate, all you see is these, <laughs> these advertisements all the time. Hey, 2021 upgrades available. Okay, I can get a loyalty discount. That's cool. So I can save some money, I guess. But the thing that I'm looking for is here. It says graphics card. You need a minimum display resolution of this. It's recommended for hardware acceleration. They have this new, well, I don't know if it's new. I just haven't had the newer version of Video Studio Ultimate since 2018, obviously. But um, they do like CUDA cores with the NVIDIA card, which can allow you to run uh, rendering off of the uh, GPU versus the CPU, meaning that you can use your graphics card to render the videos rather than using the computer. And what I'll be doing while I make this video is I'll be pulling up the task manager just to see how much uh, memory is being used, CPU being used, and GPU being used. So I'll bring that up as we go, but I want to just do a basic timing of how fast this is going to, or how long this is going to take. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let me get that set up. Let's see, I want to actually add the clock without like taking up the display because it's just going to go in the background. So let's start the clock and here we go. So I'm going to do just a basic video. So I'm going to make a new video. We already have the program open, so we can't see how long it takes to load, but this is going to be my latest podcast episode. And we're going to add the files here. All we got is the video itself and <laughs> the crappy thumbnail. Yes. All right, we'll cut it right there. And you can see how slow or fast it is. It, I mean, this is a decent computer, so it's not too bad. But you'll see as I start adding things to it, which I don't do hardly any of the features that you can use in this. Um, but it does kind of clog up from time to time or get just get a little slow And we'll cut that end off Delete that now we're gonna add this is this is my big editing that I use here, so I put in What the thumbnail is gonna be stretch that be out to you know the beginning of six there Okay, now I got them both in there now I got to get it to fit the screen. Okay, we're looking good so far and then go to effects auto sketch here we go now we can start to see the slowdown okay go ahead all it is is just auto sketch and like this isn't a bad computer it's just you know all right now we want to actually see what it looks like okay Welcome back to Random Book Club Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Van. Today, we're covering Chapter 9 of the Aeronauts Wind List by Jim Butcher. With me today, as always, Justin. Okay, so we've got that. So now we're ready. That's it. That's all I do. Very simple. Oh, actually, I want to also increase the volume. So on the video, we're going to go to adjust volume. And I, I think I just put it at 250 multiply it up so it's a little louder on YouTube otherwise it's really quiet for me all right so now we've got the volume adjusted that's all we've done we're gonna go to share and do same as project I have both the video and the uh, image on an SSD and I'm gonna be saving it to an SSD so it's just going from the same SSD to the same SSD uh, my settings I'll show you what my preferences are 
and I've got performance. Oh, actually, I don't have hardware acceleration or anything actually enabled because when I did enable it, it crashed. Like it would get to 99% and then it would crash. So I just turned them off. And so I guess it's a little slower, but it doesn't crash then. So here we go. Let's start. We're at four minutes. It took me four minutes to edit the entire thing with talking. And she going. So let's see. Um, let's take a look. Do we have Task Manager up right now? Let me check OBS. We do. Okay. So let's take a look together. You can see how the CPU has bumped up to 100%. Very high. This is a relatively short episode for me. I think it's only like 38 minutes or something like that. I usually do anywhere from 45 to an hour. So that's why I kind of want to do this is because this will, this will be a good test. You know, if I'm doing an hour long video each week, it can take a long time just to render the video itself. And so I want to see if I can cut that down uh, significantly by, you know, if supposedly, you know, Corel 2021 can use the GPU uh, and I might have to actually like, you know, go in the settings and play around with it and do a couple test runs before I actually do the final. But if I can get it to go faster, man, that would be sweet. We are coming towards the home stretch here. Let's get ready to hit stop on that stopwatch. There we go. Okay, 23 minutes. Let's go home. And let's get this upgrade, guys. Okay, we finished downloading it. Let's launch. Here we go. Let's get the timer going. This is a little unfair because I think I didn't start the timer for the other one until I was already in, but we can see what we can do. So let's add. Boom. Video. Add. Boom. Thumbnail. Okay. Whoops. Oh, no. I didn't mean, mean to go to template. It's got to upload the database. Oh, boy. Um, but anyway, FX, my fave, auto sketch. Throw it in there. All right. So, it's kind of the same as before <laughs> as far as the editing process, which isn't, it's not terrible, but let's just see what it looks like. Um, let's fit this to the screen. Thinking hard here. Okay, here we go. So, that looks normal. Okay. Okay. But now I want to actually see it with the project. So the actual thing itself looks like it's working. But from my project perspective, it does not look like it's working. But we'll just try it. Okay, so go to share. Enable hardware. Yep. Enable smart render. Sure. Okay, let's pull up. The task manager. This is what I want to see. Okay, guys. Start. Start. Here we go. Creating file. Now, I'm looking at the GPU here. CPU is up to 100% again. It's rendering. You know, I thought it would use the GPU. NVIDIA CUDA. Oh, wait, CPU's at 32. So the GPU's at 13% and the CPU is at, I mean, not like crushing at 100. And it's at 30. Whoa, look at this speed. Someone just unhitched the plow. What the heck? 64? I actually cannot believe this if this is real oh my god get the time get the stopwatch ready oh my god sub two minutes i have never there's no way there's no way 
Okay, we need to see. We need to see the quality because remember that effects was effed up. Okay, book vids. Okay. So let's look at the one that took 20 minutes to make itself. Okay, let's check this one out. Welcome back to Random Book Club Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Van. Today we're covering Chapter 9 of the Aeronauts Win List by Jim Butcher. With me today, as always, Justin Mason. Oh, How you, you know doing, what I bro? didn't do? I didn't add the um, the boost to volume, but I'll just redo it if it only takes two freaking minutes. Welcome back to Random Book Club <laughs> Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Van. Today we're covering Chapter 9 of the okay. Endless Wind List by Jim Butcher. With me today, as always, Justin there's a There's some Mason. issues. How you doing, bro? Oh, no. Um, okay, so I've had that before. I don't know what causes that exactly. But um, we are on the right track, though, dude. If it's sub two minutes, I don't mind redoing an entire video. But when when that occurs, that little like chipmunk thing, I don't know what that is. But when that occurs and it's it took you, you know, 20 to 40 minutes to render the video, it's devastating because you're never getting that time back. I don't mind giving up two minutes of my life. But now we can actually try this again. I don't know if I want to enable smart render or not. Maybe that was my issue. GPU is now at 48% off the bat. CPU has uh, jumped up to 60. So without the smart render, we are pressing our computer a little bit more, but it's far less than it was on 2018. 2018, we were at 100 CPU and like nothing on GPU. So I'm already liking that. Stop. Okay. So it cuts it by 12 minutes roughly which is nice but let's see does it make the cut welcome back to random book club podcast i'm your host dan van that works guys okay so without smart render on that 38 minute video took me almost eight minutes that has cut my time in half uh, for rendering. That is wonderful, especially when I do the long ones. Video Studio Ultimate 2018 versus Video Studio Ultimate 2021. It's faster. Is it $100 faster? Is it $70, $80 faster? You know, $70 faster if you get the discount. I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. I'll, this is a winner. Um, if that's how it is, if that's what I got to do, just turn off Smart Render. Uh, I'm still happy. I I think I'm going to keep this product. I'm going to play around with it some more. But man, if I can get that Smart Render to work without the chipmunk voice, dude, that was crazy. Quick note on Smart Render. When I was editing the longer technical version of this video, uh, which you can check out in the link in the description below to see all the nitty gritty details, this video came out to be about 34 minutes in length and I rendered it with Smart Render and without Smart Render. When I rendered it with Smart Render, it came out to be the file size of 4.2 gigabytes. Without Smart Render, it was 3.2, the same exact video. So Smart Render, added an extra gigabyte for some reason and because i had all these little clips and stuff in here to cut down just the regular video uh, it did end up making smart render take longer than the two minutes we were seeing when i was editing just the podcast so what i what i'm guessing is is the more edits you make to the video the longer smart render is going to take where smart render really shines is if you have a really long video clip and it just renders that thing fast. And the quality between the quality difference between the two versions, whether you're rendering it with Smart Render or not, is negligible. You can't really tell the difference, but you can tell a difference in time. So my recommendation is, if you're actually just using this product to make YouTube videos or whatever you want to do, just turn off Smart Render unless you can resolve the issues that I was running into with like chipmunk voice and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and. Uh, if you're interested in books, check out my podcast.